is going on it's girl keisha welcome to the show undeniable keisha so i have a disturbing story for you guys a demonic wicked sinister eerie story for you guys straight out of new jersey okay so this guy by the name of jeremy arrington 31 years old looked terrible for his age looked like he every bit of 42 okay he looks terrible for his age okay this man was convicted is convicted have been convicted of murder okay so he took it upon himself to take three lives not one two three lives he shouldn't have taken anyone's life it's not justified unless it's self-defense but he decided on november 5th 2016 to break into a new work home and kill a 26 year old an 11 year old and an eight year old did you hear what i said so yes he decided to break into their home and kill those three people. Now, it could have been six dead people. Three were dead. Three survived. A 29-year-old and two 13-year-old twins. So they were saved and they were spared. It wasn't that they were spared because of him. They were spared due to rescue, okay? And he's not been convicted, okay? So he has 28 counts on him and he's to serve 375 years in jail rightfully so get that goon get that that wicked thing out of here get him from among us we don't need him we don't so want i want to tell you guys why he murdered those three people what led to this wicked unsenseless murder it's because of a facebook post a social media facebook post because someone from the residence now i don't know if it's one of these three people that were killed that he invaded but somebody from the residents from their neighborhood reposted information of him linked to a previous shooting and sexual assault not only is he a, a satanic murderer but he's a, a alleged rapist too okay and i'm so glad that he has been convicted and he's found guilty and that's that's the situation rightfully so but i want to say this i'm glad he's off the street because if you look at this this sick man, he looks terrible, but he also looks like the norm, like a regular guy that you just encounter every day. And that's what's so scary about this planet Earth, that you have people that look like regular looking people, no matter how healthy or how attractive they may look, they look like regular people, right? And you would never would have you never would have a thought in your head that this person would commit murder. You never have a thought in your head that this guy would be a rapist. You don't know what people got going on with them. You don't know what energies and what spirits are working with these people. I strongly believe that this man had evil in him for a very long time. And how Satan works is he knows when someone is evil. He knows when someone has a wicked, evil soul. You know, he knows when someone is soulless. He knows when someone is evil. He knows when someone can be manipulated because their heart is not right. Their heart is desperately wicked. That's what the good books say. Your heart is desperately wicked. Satan knows that you may not feel like that, but he knows. He knows. And he knows who to use. And he knows who to, if you idle in mind, you're idle in your hands, he going to use you for wickedness. All he needs is a body. All he needs is to put you in a situation and bam, just like that, the demon in you manifests. So this man waited for a facebook post to let these demons rise up in him to take three lives a 26 year old college student an 11 year old and an eight year old again it could have been in, in a 29 year old and two 13 year old twins but they, they were spared so they, it wasn't their time but it's just unfortunate and sad how the other three went out i mean he tied these people up he tied these young people up and stabbed them. So can you imagine the screams, the hollering, the pleading for their lives? And you think this man stopped? No. No. A big grown man stabbing an eight-year-old child. That could have been old enough to be his child. An 11-year-old old enough to be his child. You have to be a sick, twisted bastard to stand over three young people and stab them see the gun blushing flesh exposed i mean this is a sick demented world and we can't be playing games you guys we have to really pay attention and we can't be out here in la la land just acting like we don't know what's going on 
I remember when someone came and told me that there is evil that's 50 50 on this earth and it's good that's 50 50 on the earth and i said hell no i don't know what you guys think but i don't agree with that there's more evil on this doggone planet than there is good i don't care what anybody say because you could be getting your head busted open and you can see people standing around world star with the cameras world star like a fool just just idle just standing around idly watching your life slip away and now one person will intervene. Can't even pick up your phone to even call the authorities. Now, if you don't want to physically get involved, I could I could understand that. I could let you rock with that and be fair. But get your phone now. Run. Use them legs to get help. Something. But you're standing there seeing people hollering, seeing people screaming and pleading and begging for their lives because someone's hurting them and killing them. And you, you stand around and do nothing. Nothing. It's terrible. So no, I don't think there's more, there's half and half good and half and half. No, the, the earth is full of wicked people, period, point blank, period. Even children are growing up being more cruel and waxing cold and cold towards humanity as time goes on. My goodness. <laughs>